Yes, the critters have been at them, but that's no problem. We're still going to harvest some strawberry leaves. Welcome to Frugal Mama Garden. We are nearing the end of August and I have gotten into something of a, I don't know, not a rabbit hole necessarily. Well, maybe as part of possibly part of like going into my ancestry and getting kind of obsessed that way. I have somehow ended up in this place where I want to harvest anything and everything that I can from my gardens to use like medicinally, to dry them, to preserve them. I think part of it was restoring the shelf that I found on the side of the road and putting my herbs there. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I've always been interested in drying things, usually flowers, but what I have found out is that I have so much already in my yard, things I've been growing forever that I had no idea how many other uses they had. I'll show you what I'm talking about some of the potential benefits of strawberry leaves. They have high levels of vitamin C, antioxidants, and they can potentially reduce the risk of developing heart disease, type two diabetes, and more. Of course, I have to acknowledge that I am not a healthcare professional in any way. Before you start adding anything to your diet, especially medicinally, be sure to check with your physician or medical professional. Ways to use the strawberry leaf, dry them and use them in a tisane, also known as a tea, eat them raw in salads, cook the leaves in soups and stir fries. You can also extract oils from them, use them in tinctures as a health tonic. Warning for strawberry leaf tea. It does have the potential for laxative and diuretic effects. Dandelion leaves. Let's emphasize they need to be untreated dandelion leaves. So not the dandelion leaves on your lawn that you have already treated for weeds. They have the potential to stimulate appetite and help with digestion. They may help support the immune system, liver, kidney, and gallbladder function. Dandelion leaves can be used in salads with other greens. They are, this is so surprising to me, nutritionally more valuable than kale and spinach. You can also steep dried leaves and or the roots for tea. Untreated dandelion flowers can also be added to salads. Some dandelion warnings. Increased stomach acid and heartburn possible. Also, they may aggravate kidney and gallstone problems. Whenever I am going to be drying leaves, or herbs, whatever, I do take a minute to look for any signs of blight, rot, mold, bugs, bug nests, bug eggs, <laughs> spider webs. It's important. With these particular dandelion leaves, I should have done a better job of drying them. They'll still dry, it'll just take a little bit longer. Finally, right before a big storm is coming, I am finally getting to this corner bed. Trimmed up the pin cushions, while also pulling weeds and such. I also harvested some flowers to dry. I am gonna think about, depending on the, the storm and <laughs> when it decides to let loose, I'm gonna try maybe to harvest some of the leaves from the pin cushions because I just found out that they have fabulous uh, medicinal properties and things we can do with them. So. Anyway, but we'll see. We shall see. I did a little bit of trimming on the hollyhocks and will probably trim some more. I don't want to trim too much because I want to keep their look. I, I love the look of them and they do lend to kind of the spooky vibe that we go for in the Halloween yard display that we'll be starting on here soon. But we can't start on that until all the yard work is done. So just trying to get a little bit of this done today. Got to pull some more weeds. Ooh, what is the main goal? Mostly just to clear those weeds and grasses in this bed and then I think I'll, I'll feel pretty good, pretty accomplished. If I get that done before the storm, then yeah, that's success.
also, I've also recently discovered that my mulein, or mulein, mulein or mulein, a plant that I got from my mom, that come to find out are quite, <laughs> well, invasive, I guess is the word. Anyway, they have properties too that make them worth uh, preserving. I'm not sure if you're supposed to get the the ones that are still alive or the ones that are dried out. I don't want the seeds. These guys spread plenty on their own. You gotta keep control of them. I know that the leaves have properties. What I saw was a, an idea to make like candles by dipping them in beeswax and then rolling them in like different herbs, dried herbs and stuff. So I don't know, I think I'm just gonna trim, take some of them, harvest like the dry ones probably. I don't know, but I better hurry. So I went ahead and harvested these ones. The leaves have been pretty well ravaged. <laughs> we have a infestation, a bad, really bad um, grasshopper problem this year, locusts. But I do think that the plants, they're the same kind. They're out in the Laughing Place garden. They have young, fresh, beautiful leaves and I will harvest those ones. These will just be composted. And I will leave, see we've still got lovely little wasps. So possibly bees as well. I will leave the rest of these for our pollinators. And cause well, they just look kind of cool and they also will lend to the Halloween yard display. Then I've got some hollyhock volunteers that decided to plant themselves in this <laughs> kind of obnoxious spot. But I also found out that hollyhocks are something I can harvest. How about that? I am just, I, I don't know, I'm turning into a cottage wife and I'm feeling pretty dang good about it. So I'm going to harvest a bunch of, oh my God, there's Lulu. <laughs> Scared the life out of me. Woo! Okay, life of a YouTuber. I'm gonna go ahead and harvest most of these. Oh, aren't they just gorgeous? They're so lovely. And the grasshoppers haven't just totally destroyed them the way that they have with these poor sad hollyhocks. There are lovely young fresh leaves down there. I am not gonna trim off this stuff because I feel like it provides some protection, if you will, for those leaves right there. I'm not going to cut all of them. I'll leave these little young leaves and hopefully harvest one more time uh, before winter. Oh, we got, we got a weed hiding in there. Yeah. We'll let them keep producing, but uh, only for the purpose of harvesting their leaves. We're not going to let them grow up and flower and stuff like that. Not right here. I hung the moulin or moulin to dry here outside. When I uh, brought them over here, a whole bunch of these little teeny tiny black bugs came tumbling out and I don't want those little black bugs in my house. Plus, I really don't have room <laughs> to hang these in the house anywhere. So this just makes sense. Then with the hollyhock leaves, I'm going to give them several good shakes and kind of, you know, run through them. A word of warning, they can definitely irritate your hands. But see, there's things like this, like a little spider nest thing. I don't want to bring that in the house. So I'm going to shake them through, going to brush them through, maybe even leave them out here for one day, except I don't want to like leave a meal out ready for the grasshoppers. I don't know if they'll even want them once they're cut. But anyhow, going to leave them out here for a little bit brush them through, get all the bugs and spider webs and stuff off of there, and then these will go in the house. Isn't that lovely? Look how lovely. The grasshoppers have definitely started in on these moulin, moulin leaves, but not enough that uh, I feel weird about going ahead and harvesting them. <laughs> 